Hello folks, it's the Pace Chaser again. Welcome to another one of my videos. In this one we're going to look at some photographs of the buses of GCT, uh, Grimsby, Cleethorpes Transport and the early days of Stagecoach, Grimsby, Cleethorpes. GCT was jointly owned by the councils of Grimsby and Cleethorpes. In October 1993 they sold it to Stagecoach and it became Stagecoach, Grimsby, Cleethorpes. So we're going to look at photos from both sides of that uh, event. We're going to start by looking at some of the liveries. So Grimsby Cleethorpe's Transport had been formed in January 1957 when the Corporation Transport Departments of Grimsby and Cleethorpe's were amalgamated. They settled on a blue and cream livery, which um, over the years gave way to blue and white. Um, the blue got progressively darker as they went on. To start with, we're looking at an AEC Bridgemaster with Park Royal body although they were semi-integrals, in other words, they were built um, all kind of one structure without, some, without a real separate chassis and body. Uh, this one is 133 um, NJV995, which was new in June 1960. It was converted to open top in July of 1974. It carried a special livery for the Silver Jubilee in 1977 through to April 1978. And it was withdrawn in 1980 and it passed into preservation and it's still preserved. I think it's unique in being the only bridge master that was ever converted to open top. Um, here it is a picture on a postcard um, from the 1970s on uh, Grimsby Docks. You can see it's a commercially produced postcard there. We've got the same bus there attending a rally during the 1980s in its uh, pre early preservation days. I believe that's East Park in Hull and it'll be the uh, East Coast run but I don't know the year of it and I don't know the photographer either it's just one from my collection is this photograph. And I'm pleased to report that the bus is still active and still preserved today. Here it is in a photograph I took in May 2022 on Grant Street car park in Cleethorpes in the company of uh, a couple of other preserved vehicles. Uh, and some coaches visiting Cleethorpes for the day. You can see one of Copeland's tours fleet from uh, Stoke-on-Trent, just over on the far side. Uh, preserved Ulster bus, Bristol RE there, uh, a Dennis Dart, and obviously 133 there. Still nicely preserved and uh, a glorious sight to see. You see it quite regularly around Grimsby and Cleethorpes. It's uh, well, well, a well-restored bus, very nice condition. And uh, yeah, it's good to see it still active on the preservation scene. So as we said, this uh, delivery got progressively darker, the, the blue got progressively darker. This was the final version of it. This is a photograph from Wikimedia Commons taken by Alan Murray Rust and used under the uh, Wikimedia Con Commons license 2.0. This is 123 OJV 123S, uh, a Leyland fleet line that was delivered in November 1977 and it was withdrawn uh, later in 1995. In this view, it's uh, crossing the railway line at New Waltham in 1978. You can see the uh, archetypal advert above the uh, destination line there, and also the rather unusual figure eight. It looks like it's upside down, which it isn't. That's the way it was. Uh, it was done. Quite a characterful feature. You can just see above the uh, side exit door as well the Grimsby Cleethorpes transport lettering with the town crests uh, next to it as well. So in 1981, the blue and white livery gave way to a caramel and cream livery. Um, initially, it was just plain. It didn't have the stripes on. So if you just imagine without all these GCT brandings, uh, that's how it looked originally with a, uh, a rather subdued GCT logo, which was the letters with like a line through the middle of them. This is another photo from my collection. I don't know the original photographer. So this is 63 TFU 63T, another Leyland fleet line with uh, row body. Similar to uh, 123 that we've just seen, although you can see the front panel was different on them. And that was a feature of the batches, the uh, t registered one there, look, with the uh, louvers. And then 123 with the more, the larger central louver there. So there were detailed differences between the uh, batches. In July 1985, a uh, design agency was engaged to try and update the image of GCT uh, for the impending deregulation of bus services. And what they came up with was these uh, rather bold orange and black stripes, the large GCT fleet name that you can see. 
uh, and this parrot that uh, is on the side which was apparently known as Clippy the parrot uh, I'm not making this up this is genuine um, on some of the buses and on the timetables Clippy would uh, have a little speech bubble coming from his mouth with uh, various things extolling the virtues of travelling with GCT You can see the town's crests have moved to the front panel as well as uh, the crests either side of the front panel there. In 1987, delivery was uh, changed again to orange and white, still with the orange and black stripes on, although not quite as pronounced as they were on the caramel livery. And the crests were moved up to above the destination blind. Um, that's where they were covered up with uh, adverts. Again, this is another one from my collection. I don't know the original photographer. This is 65 WFU 465V. Uh, another Leyland fleet line with real body. It was new in March 1980. Uh, and in common with the previous two that we've seen, um, 123 and 63, it was withdrawn towards the end of 1995. Um, in 1995, a batch of 15 Volvo Olympians entered service and saw off quite a few of the older Leyland fleet lines. Just to show there is some continuity in the bus industry, because it's often thought that there isn't, um, this photo was taken before the sale to Stagecoach, so it's before October 1993. The giveaway is the black wheels. Uh, when Stagecoach took over, they painted the wheels light grey. Um, but the bus is on Route 4 to Cleethorpe's Pier, which still runs nowadays. Um, it's still Route 4. It still goes to Cleethorpe's. Um, the bus station isn't there anymore. It's kind of next to itself. There's not a bus station as such. It's now stops on the street, but it's just, a, just next to where this uh, scene was taken at the bus station that used to be outside the uh, entrance to Freshly Place Shopping Centre. So we're going to look at some buses now in fleet number order, so not necessarily in the order they were delivered. Um, we've had a look there at deliveries and the development thereof. So we'll have a look at uh, some different bus types. So this was delivered as fleet number 71, um, registration A71GEE, in December 1983. It was a little Olympian with Eastern Coachworks body. Uh, there were four of them altogether. 71, 72 were single door, uh, and 73 and 74 were double door. Uh, this was the only survivor long term. In uh, October 2002, there was a fire at the depot of uh, Grimsby Cleethorpe's transport, or stagecoach Grimsby Cleethorpe, should I say, and that destroyed uh, 72, 73, and 74. So 71 became the only survivor of the uh, Leyland Olympians that were delivered to GCT. It was sold to Ensign Bus, the dealers, in 2004. Um, they put it into storage, they didn't sell it on, and it was scrapped finally in 2009. Again, talking about continuity in routes, it's on the 3F to Cleefort's Pier. Nowadays, that's just the 3, but uh, it's still basically the same route. Maybe, you know, a couple of variations here and there, but uh, yeah, there is still some kind of continuity there. Uh, in this shot, which was taken roughly, um, I think, 2005, 2006, unfortunately I didn't date it. It's uh, carrying the Stagecoach National Fleet number uh, 15071. Uh, sorry, correction, 14871. But it's seen in the bus station at Grimsby with a road car, Olympian, uh, heading in the opposite direction. So after the Olympians, the next new double-deckers for GCT with Dennis Dominators with Alexander R-type bodies. There were seven R-types altogether, uh, delivered in two batches. 75-78, F75-78, TFU, and then 79-81, G79-81, VFW. This is the former 76, F76, TFU. Um, again, a shot taken around 2005-2006, I believe, uh, by which time it was Stagecoach 15076. And it's just heading for Cleethorpe's High Street on the 45 from Immingham. Uh, nowadays that's Route 5, but it terminates at Grimsby. It doesn't go through to Cleethorpe's except um, on evenings and Sundays. So 76 was delivered in April 1989. Um, when it was delivered, it had flat windscreens, as did the rest of the Alexander um, Dennis Dominators. In 1991, they were all sent to East Lancashire Coach Builders at Blackburn to have the curved windscreens fitted that you can see um, on this bus now. So they had a re replacement windscreen fitted. I'm guessing they suffered with uh, glare, and the driver couldn't see properly when it was uh, dark. 
So they fitted them with the curved windscreens you can see there. This particular bus was sold to Ensign Bus when um, Stagecoach were finished with it. They put it into their own operational fleet in their Stratford Blue subsidiary in Stratford-on-Avon. It ended up with Golden Eagle of Hamilton um, by 2008. Uh, they were its last known owner. Another one of the same batch, the former 77F77 TFU, again delivered in April 1989. And by the time of this shot, running as Stagecoach 15077. Uh, it's on the 16 to Wybers Wood, which nowadays is the 6. One of the second batch now, again they were delivered with flat windscreens, but sent off to East Lancashire coach builders to have the curved windscreen fitted. This is the former 79 G79 VFW. Uh, by the time of this shot running is 15079 uh, and transferred to Hull. Another one of the uh, second batch of Alexander Body Dennis Dominators, the former 81 G81 VFW. Again by the time of this photograph uh, running as Stagecoach 15081, delivered in February 1990 as was 79 that we saw uh, previously. Again, this one's on the 16. It's heading for the Asda store at Hainton Square. Uh, nowadays, the 6 doesn't go to the Asda. Um, it only runs between Wybers Wood and Grimsby Town Centre. But back in the day, it used to go through to Asda as well. So following on from the Alexander-bodied Dennis Dominators, they went on to East Lancashire-bodied Dennis Dominators, possibly encouraged by the experience of having the new windscreens fitted uh, by them. There were two batches of them, um, eight buses in total, two batches of four. The first batch were 82 to 85 H, 482 to 485 BEE. And this is the former 84 H, 484 BEE. Uh, in, again in Grimsby bus station, running as uh, Stagecoach 15084. And again on uh, Route 45, Immingham through to Cleethorpes, a route that they um, operated on quite a lot, these uh, Dennis Dominators. You can see the body style is basically a copy of the Alexander R-Type. This one was known as the East Lancashire E-Type. Um, on these ones, it, they're fitted with the standard East Lancashire front, um, the lower front, should I say. Uh, whereas some of them had a representation of the Alexander R-Type one. Um, Hull had quite a lot that had a R-Type style front end. But uh, later on in the production of it, um, certainly by the time of this one was produced, they'd begun to put the standard East Lancashire front on. This bus was delivered in May 1991 and it survived in the fleet until 2007 when it was sold to PVS of Carlton who I believe scrapped it. Another one of the same batch 85H485BEE which was new in May 1991. It seemed when still relatively new on loan to East Yorkshire at Hull hence it's got Beverley on the destination blind it's just parked on the muck. Um, the parking area, in other words, behind Hull Bus Station. And it was uh, loaned to East Yorkshire, I think it's a demonstrator, so they could test out the Dennis Dominator. They didn't actually order any, so they can't have been that impressed with it. There were um, fairly close ties uh, with East Yorkshire at one time. East Yorkshire were interested in buying GCT when it came up for sale, but they didn't um, end up getting it. They were outbid by Stagecoach. But it uh, could have been an East Yorkshire subsidiary had it, had it gone uh, the other way. This is in the simplified version of the orange livery that was introduced in the early 1990s. They got rid of the uh, black and orange stripes and the white stripes around them as well and the uh, parrot. And they went just for a simple orange and white livery with a more subdued GCT fleet name that you can just about see up there. So there was a gap in numbering. Presumably they uh, had trouble um, getting registration numbers that matched. So 85 was followed by 91. The second batch were 91 to 94, so the uh, numbers between 86 and 90 weren't used. Uh, and this is 92 of the second batch of East Lancashire Dennis Dominators, J92DJV, delivered in March 1992, and by the time of the photograph running as Stagecoach 15092 in the 2001 Beach Bowl livery. This was a late survivor, it's seen here at Cleethorpe's Pier in uh, Cleethorpe's in Bloom 2006 livery. Um, the livery was updated year on year up to 2008. I think 2008 was its last year in service in Grimsby and Cleethorpe's and it carried the uh, Cleethorpe's in Bloom 2008 livery. 
when they finally withdrew it, it was sold to Abbey Travel of Hull. Uh, and it was certainly there by 2009. I don't know uh, what happened to it after that. Presumably it was uh, withdrawn and scrapped. But yeah, it did go for further service initially. So staying in fleet number order rather than delivery order, we've got uh, a Leyland fleet line. This was uh, one of the first batch that were actually Leyland's rather than Daimler fleet lines. This is uh, 113 MBE 613R, which was delivered in January of 1977. Very early in stagecoach days in February 1994, it was converted to open top, which uh, ensured its survival. It's seen here at Cleethorpe's Pier on the uh, summer seafront 17 service along to the holiday camp. This was taken in June 1995 by myself. When they converted it in 1994, it was out shopped in all over white because they were expecting somebody to uh, advertise on it. So it was sent out in the base coat. As it was, the advert didn't materialise, so they added the stagecoach stripes to it um, and it entered service in that condition by the end of May 1994. It survived long enough to become 15513 in the uh, stagecoach renumbering in the early 2000s. In uh, 2005, it was transferred to Chesterfield. Um, and they kept it as a bit of a depot pet for a long time until uh, 2017 when it was finally withdrawn from stagecoach use and uh, it went into preservation. It's still preserved today, as you'll see in a moment. If you want more information on it, it's got its own website, so there's a full history of the bus on there. There's quite a bit about uh, GCT and uh, stagecoach Grimsby Cleethorpes on there as well. It's well worth a look, so I'll check that out. But yeah, it's very interesting. So the last photo was taken in June 1995. 27 years later, June 2022, I suddenly feel very old. Having said that, I uh, photographed it again in preservation, just passing uh, Cleethorpe's railway station at the start of the annual parade. There it is, splendidly restored into the GCT orange livery. It never actually carried that as an open topper. Um, it only carried it with a closed top, obviously. As I said, it was converted to open top in early stagecoach days and it was out shopped in white and then put into stagecoach stripes. But uh, it looks absolutely amazing in that uh, orange and white livery. That's how I remember GCT buses. You can see a better shot there of the uh, more subtle logo introduced in the early 90s as well to replace the massive GCT. But yeah, again, very nice to see it preserved and in such a, an immaculate condition. And it's a credit to its owners. You do see it quite a lot around Grimsby and Cleethorpe. So if you're in the area, just uh, have a look out for it. This is the photograph I bought off the internet with the copyright. Um, it's 125 XFU 125 V, another row bodied Leyland fleet line. As you can see, the numbering was uh, kind of all over the place with uh, Grimsby. Cleethorpe's buses, the fleet lines weren't in any kind of continuous order, they just kind of filled gaps uh, that came up. So the last V registered one we saw was 65 WFU 465V, and then this is, as I say, XFU 125V, fleet number 125. Delivered in uh, April 1980, and it was withdrawn in late 1996. It's seen here passing the Dennis Dominator in the early stagecoach days, the uh, clue to the fact it's stagecoach days is the grey wheels as I mentioned earlier on not quite sure where the location is I think it's uh, North Sea Lane in Humberston but I'm not 100% sure another one from June 1995 126 XFU 126 V you can see again this batch had a different uh, style of front panel from the ones we've seen earlier on there's no ventilation louvers on these again it was standard for the batch it wasn't just uh, any one particular bus Another vehicle delivered in April of 1980. This is a photograph June 1995 at Cleethorpe's Pier on the 16 to Willows and Wybers Wood. I have a feeling it might have been a Sunday. I don't uh, remember the 16 going through to Cleethorpe's on a regular basis, but I think it might have done on a weekend or on a Sunday, should I say. So it might have been a Sunday or a bank holiday. I'm not 100% sure. Well, in June it would have been bank holiday, so that must have been a Sunday. But yeah, showing uh, very little sign of stagecoach ownership apart from the grey wheels. This is another shot that I bought off the internet with uh, copyright. This is 130 
XFU 130V, another real body Leyland fleet line. This one was new in May 1980 and was drawn in 1995. It's not recorded who the original photographer was, but uh, kudos to them for finding a different location. This one is on Durban Road in Grimsby, just at the junction with Robert Street, and it's heading for Laceby Acres on Route 4. As I mentioned earlier, Route 4 still runs and it's still the same route. The uh, Laceby Acres terminus is nowadays referred to as Morrison's, but uh, yeah, it still follows pretty much the same route. Same termini, Claythorpe's Pier at one end and Morrison's, formerly known as Laceby Acres, at the other. Again, this one's taken in stagecoach days. It's not dated, but uh, the grey wheels give it away. And just finally, I'm going to finish off with uh, a few shots. These uh, vehicles were East Lancashire body Dennis Lances. The uh, first four of them, um, which were numbered one to four, were delivered in orange and white livery before the takeover by stagecoach. The last five were uh, delivered in after the stagecoach takeover and they were painted into stagecoach stripes before delivery. So this is one of the ones that was delivered to stagecoach. It was delivered as fleet number seven. And by the time I photographed it in uh, the early 2000s, it was running as 27707 um, L707 HFU. It's just entering the uh, former Grimsby bus station outside Freshney Place on uh, a three showing Bradley Crossroads on the destination blind. Most of these were sold to A to Z Travel of Walsall, who um, I think were later ordered off the road. But this one had gone there certainly by 2008 and probably earlier than that. A lot of them went um, as early as 2004. They didn't have long lives with Stagecoach. But Dennis Lance wasn't a standard Stagecoach type. And they didn't really take to it. So as non-standard buses, they, they had a shorter life than you would normally expect. Another one of the same batch, uh, the form number 8, L708 HFU, running by this point as 27708. Another one that went to A to Z of Walsall, seen here in Grimsby Bus Station. Early 2000s again, again I didn't date the uh, most of the photos I took around this time, so I can't tell you the exact date. But uh, showing 4X Cleethorpe's Pier, um, 4X is basically today's 4 I just found I used this shot in the uh, first part of the KHCT buses of Hull video, but I'll show it here again. It shows the rear end of one of the East Lancashire body Den Dennis Lances, uh, the former number 3K703 NDO, uh, which was delivered in March 1993 before the stagecoach takeover, so that would have been delivered in orange and white livery. The uh, previous two buses we saw, 7 and 8, were delivered in November 1993 after the takeover. So you can see it there just heading away from the camera. Uh, on the right hand side is K577 DFS which was a Volvo B10M with a Plaxton Premier interurban body new to five Scottish and other stagecoach subsidiary in uh, March 1993 it transferred across to Hull as uh, their fleet number 77 at various times I think it was allocated to Grimsby as well because it worked on the 909 that ran between Hull and Grimsby so I think it did flit about between the two depots to some extent but again, it's seen here in Grimsby Bus Station, just heading back to Hull on the 909, again in the early 2000s. So I'm in the process of doing a, a series of these kind of videos on KHCT in Hull. Um, I've done two parts so far as I record this in September 2023. I think there's going to be two other parts. If you're interested in Hull buses, please uh, give those a look. But you'll realise from those that I like to leave you with uh, some publicity or something like that. And uh, here we have a timetable pack from the old GCT which I picked up on a visit to Grimsby in 1992. Uh, although Clippy wasn't so much on the buses um, anymore, they'd gone for the subtler GCT logo without a parrot. Um, there he is, complete with his uh, busman's hat, uh, saying for all your travel, for all your local travel in Grimsby and Cleethorpes. And then there we have some uh, of the old timetables as well. I'm not going to show you them all, I might do a separate video on the Grimsby timetables um, at some point if there's any demand for it. The leaflet here for bus hire, you see modern 23, 42, 51 and 78 seat buses available. If you wanted a quote you filled in the form on the rear, obviously this is before the internet. Um, what sort of vehicle you wanted, where you were thinking of going and they would uh, get the quote back to you.
Another similar form there for Peter Sheffield coach, which is a GCT subsidiary by this point. So anyway, folks, as usual, thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.